This is a graph that shows voltage over degrees of rotation as the generator rotates. I think I just got myself in the way of my drawing, but that's just the way it goes. So what do we do? Well, let me just show you this real quickly, and then you can practice. Okay? Let's start here. So if this is 90 degrees, this would be 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, these would be 30 degree increments, 300, 330, and 360. I hope this shows up. Okay? So let's start with zero. Zero degrees of rotation. Don't worry about the inside, the guts of the generator yet. We'll talk about that. Zero degrees, sine. Oh, let me get rid of that. That's why I couldn't find it. Sine of zero, zero. So at zero degrees, we got no voltage. Nothing. Okay? At zero degrees, we got zero. That kind of makes sense. But then let's go to 30 degrees. At 30 degrees, sine, we get a half. Well, if this is maximum, then there's half a maximum. So we go up at 30 degrees and we go to 0.5, or half. Then let's, go, let's, let's let the generator rotate a little bit more. Let's go from 30 to 60. 60, sine. 0.866. Well, there's 0.75, there's 0.8, there's, let's say there's 0.866 right there. So, blah, 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 and 0.866, let's say it's right about there. So, there's 0.866. Let's keep rolling. Generator's rolling along. 90 degrees. Sine. Sine. 1. Well, 1 is 100%. Well, there's maximum, there's 90 degrees, and there's maximum... 1.0 equals 100% maximum voltage being produced. All right, but the generator is just rolling along. So let's go to the next one. That's going to be 120, right? So let's go to clear 120 sign. 0.866, there's that number again, 0.866, so there's 0 0.866, 0 0.866, keep on rolling, blah, 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 next is 150, 150, sign, oh, there's the 0.5 again, 0 0.5, one half, there's there, oh, there it is right there, and then, oh, we're to 180 now, so we roll, generator, blah, 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 generator's cranking away, so we do 180, Sine, sine wave, sine wave, sine wave, zero. We're back to zero. Look at that. And I can see that I didn't draw that exactly right, but I'm going to survive. Okay, now we move this because guess what's going to happen? Now we're going to go to 210. And remember what AC is? Alternating current. Well, I said this is positive max. Well, what is alternating current? It's voltage that goes in the plus direction, then the minus direction, then the plus direction, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Watch what happens when I do 210. Negative 0.5. Okay. 
negative 0.5. Let's keep rolling. 210, uh, 240, so 240 degrees of rotation. Sine wave, negative 0.866. Holy crap. 0.86. This is not going to be perfect because I'm not able to do it, but I'm going to try. We're still going. Now we're at 270. Three quarters of the way through. Negative one. How about that? Negative one. Negative 0.866 here. Sorry. So there's negative one, 270. So there it is right there. Clear that. 270 plus 300. 300. 300. Sign. Look at that. Negative 0.866 again. I didn't quite mess myself up like I thought I did. Okay, you probably predicted what's coming next. 270, 300, 330, 330. Oops, clear that. 330. Sign. Negative 0 0.5 again. And then you're probably going to figure it out because that 0 and that 360 are the exact same point on the generator. So we'll go 360. Sign. 0. Look at that. Okay. Now watch. Awesome. The sine wave is created when we know the angle of the relationship of the magnetic fields. And if we draw the sine wave we get a sine wave. All because of that, that, and that. We get that. What does this represent? This means that when the angles between the wires and the magnetic field is zero, we're not cutting any flux lines, zero voltage. When we're at 90 degrees of rotation, 90 degree angular cutting, we're, maximum, uh, we're cutting the maximum number of flux lines, maximum cut, maximum friction, maximum voltage. We keep coming around, zero, 100%, zero, but notice we're in the opposite direction. Look in the book. Four finger flux. Center finger conductor. Thumb is motion. That's the relationship. If I take this piece of wire and move it in this direction through a magnetic field that looks like that, we get voltage. Generators. produce voltage, not amperage. Generators produce voltage. The voltage is alternating voltage, positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then positive, then negative. Positive pressure negative pressure, positive pressure, negative pressure, positive current flow, negative current flow. It's AC. And it's that drawing and that shape.